ultimately, I think Sean did get what he wanted in terms of visibility on the show, but I don't think this is good for him professionally, personally, and it really shows who he is, and, and I want nothing to do with it. Guys, I watched this season so fast. It is so good. But Jason, we just need to know, how does it top one and two with real estate and some drama? Oh, I think it, it blows one and two away. I mean, honestly, it, it was really good because I think, uh, well, it's got drama between the guys and the women. Um, and I think the real estate, thank you, Kayla, is amazing this, uh, <laughs> this season. I mean, it's the, by far, the, for me, I love watching the houses, and this is the best real set we've ever had in OC. I mean, I watched it in five hours. It was crazy. <laughs> I was like, I can't stop it. So much real estate, but yes, also so much drama. Austin, I am looking at you because a lot of drama is involving you this time around. How did you handle kind of all the noise that was going on with you, your family, and then Sean? You know, I really kept my head down for a while and just kind of stayed in my lane um, until things kind of got out of hand and um, rumors were resurfaced and added to and, you know, there was lies circling around and then I kind of felt, I don't know, I, there was a line that cross, that was crossed and I felt like I needed to address it, otherwise, who you know, who's to say that it won't stop? So um, that's what I did. Um, you know, unfortunately, it happened in the office and it happened in front of my colleagues. I have apologized to Jason and my colleagues, um, it was inappropriate to happen then, you know, but I am a family man, I'm a father, I'm a husband, and you know, this was a personal attack on, on my family, and I'm very protective of my family, and you know, I had a, a bit of a Will Smith moment, and um, you know, I, I regret how it happened. If I can go back, uh, I wouldn't have brought up the situation at all because in reality TV, if you don't give something life, it has none. So. And that's a hard lesson to learn sometimes, though. Yeah. But do you think Sean was just kind of looking for attention? Yeah, so, I mean, we've had many discussions about him needing screen time. He wasn't featured in season one or two. Um, and so, you know, um, you know, I th think that's what it boiled down to is he needed screen time. And I, I like to believe that he might have started a small rumor and it grew legs into something, you know, bigger um, just to get that screen time, but I don't know, you know. It sounds like you guys need a reunion so I we can air all of this out because there is a lot of drama that goes down this season. The Sean of it all, too. Polly, I do want your take on it because you were close with him and then you kind of saw all this unfold. Yeah. And what is your take? Well, me and Sean were the closest. I was the closest to Sean than anyone in the office. I used to hang out multiple times a week at his house. We were the only kind of single ones without a partner or a family. We used to do beach walks, like cook for each other. And then that was season one. And I, you know, as everyone knows, I'm like, oh my God, we're like, you know, besties, whatever. And then I think he was really disappointed with the lack of screen time that he got season one and so season two as you may remember he kind of like tried to start a thing with me and we were no longer good but for me have a conversation with me before don't blindside me and try and use our friendship and our closeness and like throw me under the bus in order for you to get more time on the show so for me I instantly was like okay I've seen your true colors I'm not and I, it wasn't a big deal season two because I didn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. I was like, absolutely not. I'm not giving you, I'm not giving you, you that. I'm hurt yeah, that yeah. my friend used me for that. Obviously season three, we filmed two and three back to back. He tried with Tyler, got a nibble. And then with Austin, made up wild ac accusations. And then Austin just lost his shit. Like once his family has come forward with those completely untrue, horrendous rumors, of course Austin you know, he's going to lose his shit. So ultimately, I think Sean did get what he wanted in terms of visibility on the show, but I don't think this is good for him professionally, personally, and it really shows who he is, and, uh, and I'd want nothing to do with it. Do we all agree on that? No. No, I know. I Hard kinda... disagree on that. Yeah, Sean did not act any certain way for screen time. In fact, he actually tried to keep certain rumors away from being aired. And you can talk to Sean on that maybe at some point and get his take on it, but no. Who do you think delivered the most on the real estate, Gio? I'm probably going to say, just because it was such a huge storyline, it was probably Kayla for Bayside. Okay. I think that was a spectacular house and just sort of takes the cake 
as far as season three's real estate. I mean, can't really top that. I feel like though, Kayla, it, that it was because she's so new and because it was such a like elaborate listing, that's why it got so much airtime. But I think Polly was probably in the most real estate scenes. Gio, I will say it's interesting that you did say Kayla because you guys did have a little bit of an issue with that listing. Mm -hmm. How do you think that has changed your opinion on her moving forward? Well, at this point, Kayla and I are on good terms. So, yeah, we had our differences um, and, you know, we kind of just agreed to disagree. At least that was my take on it. But uh, I think, uh, you know, she... She's a good professional, and um, if she can sell Bayside, then she can do a lot. So you can't see Alex's face during I this, you, but I, yeah, I, <laughs> looking out she's the making some faces. Yeah. Well, look. look so the Botox hasn't kicked I was going to say, you need more <laughs> Botox. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, you need a couple more units. <laughs> Just like Hall and I had our differences in season one, and now I'm Hall's absolute favorite. So, favorite. <laughs> Really, honestly, it's not so much about what he's saying about Kayla. I'm just thinking to myself, if it seems like Kayla, and honestly the majority of uh, you know, the women in our office, can seem to have beef with everybody else and anybody else and move past it and get over it, but not me. So it's like... Okay. Like, if you actually look at the facts and, like, things that have transpired between me and other individuals, it doesn't make sense. So it yeah, just that is frustrating. That, that they... if you want to, someone wants to not like you, they're going to find a reason not to like you. That's it. You know what I mean? So. You and Alex, is there a world where you guys would be friendly again? We tried. We tried. And then after her apology, that was not genuine. And I knew at that moment. But I'm a very much um, empathetic so I felt her, I understood how she was feeling, what she was going through. But I think it goes deeper than that. Um, I think she's going through a lot of things that even we don't even understand. So I feel like something in me triggers her, and that brings a bad side out of her. Um, again, I don't take it personal. At this point, I'm kind of immune to it. <laughs> she's been talking crazy about me for a very long time. Um, but after we made up, she continued to do so. And um, so that's just kind of proved to me that she did it for the show. She apologized for the show, and that was that. Well, that's interesting because you know what? The only thing that's fake about that is that when we did the scene, we both cried. We both hugged. We both said that we feel like there's a huge weight that's been lifted off of our shoulders. We went to lunch the next day. We had a great time. We're sending each other audiobooks, and we're sending each other, you know, self-help and all of these things, which clearly she needs a lot of. So did I, you know what I mean? And so, great, yeah. fantastic. And then, literally 48 hours later, she's doing a TMZ little thing, whatever it's called, where... It was a video. A video yeah. where she's saying horrible things about me, horrible accusations, and, you know, Jason had called her because he saw the article production. A lot of people called her and were like, this is completely, you can't, that's a boundary you cannot cross. And I'm just confused. I'm confused because once again, it's something where we moved past it, we got over it. If she thought the, the apology was fake, then why accept it? And why also get vulnerable and then go to lunch with me? There was just no conversation in between the TMZ thing and I'm just, it's weird. Tyler not coming back, Alex, were you, surprised that he left? I mean, we see the ebb and flow of the relationship again. Yeah, you're like, yes, I know. So what were your thoughts on him deciding to leave? Like many other moments throughout our friendship and relationship, I was surprised and shocked and he didn't tell me. I had to find out through like a press article or maybe Polly called me, I don't remember. I mean, he kind of had talked about it, about leaving the office here and there. And he, he does, he had, you know, he has a tendency to do that with a lot of things, you know, voice like his, you know, I might, I might not, and it kind of goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I never really know, I take everything with a grain of salt with him, you know? So um, I was surprised that it was so abrupt and nobody really, like, I didn't know about it, but I'm not surprised that he actually, like, left, yeah. Right. Especially when his dad is such a, successful agent in the area and I think his goal was to get out from under his dad and you know spread his own wings and I don't think that went you know 
with the show and everybody in the office and people prying into your personal lives and then a divorce and then a relationship and then a this. From where I'm sat, I think honestly it was probably the best decision. I will say what people think happens, happens. Mm -hmm. Really quick one, your take on his ex-wife's comments about the whole situation ship. Yeah. Because, you know, she did talk about it. She did. <laughs> Convenient for her. <laughs> um, so that, um, that interview was, I think, just very strategic on her part. And, you know, she's promoting a new book or a movie or show or something. And I think she's got great PR. I think she was very calculated with the comments that she made that were alluding to something happening and um, you know like I said before I just I would have had more respect for her had she said it with her chest and said hey Alex Hall did X Y and Z but she couldn't do that because that would be a bold-faced lie and so you know just the calculation it was a little bit salacious I didn't I didn't like it and for her to be like America's sweetheart and to do something that's calculated calculated like that and drag me through it I just don't think is the right thing to do, but at the end of the day, that's her prerogative, I guess. But I will say that what she was alluding to or how the public took it is completely untrue. And if you watch the show, I think you, you know that you see the progression of Tyler in my relationship, our friendship, our relationship, or lack thereof, and you know the truth. So people are gonna believe what they wanna believe at the end of the day, and I have no control over that. <laughs>